People on the streets of Varanasi literally spilled over when BJP, led by its PM candidate, carried out an unprecedented road show against the EC in Varanasi. While the EC has come out with a strong defence refuting the charges of being biased, the showdown is now only escalating with other political parties also hitting out for BJP's protests. It was nothing less than a massive show of strength. Supporters by Narendra Modi's side as his cavalcade moved through the lanes of Varanasi. The kind of response is got over the rally that went on for over four and a half hours on the streets of Varanasi. Narendra Modi would be a satisfied man and he trusts his entire campaign team to take the entire momentum forward as he approaches the voting day. People chanting and echoing his name as he reached the party office. But as the protest over Varanasi block ended, the political wrangling between the BJP and other parties continued. If a candidate can't hold a rally and the election commission says, what can I do, then am I intimidating them? I have to shake them out of their slumber and that's what I am trying to do. And like the Amadmi party, even the SP and BSP launched a joint attack on the BJP's prime ministerial nominee. कल से यहाँ वाराणसी में एक नया सरेंद्र व नाटक बाजी करने शुरू कर दी है। But for the BJP, the fight was against the administration and the poll panel, as they still reiterate their demand for the sacking of the returning officer. Election Commission की responsibility है कि free and fair election हो और आरो अगर जो है वो किसी political party का worker की तरह काम कर रहा हो but the poll panel clearly disappointed with the party's disregard for its orders. We had also expressed our, our disappointment that a national party should embark on a protest against the election commission and its machinery. A full-blown face-off with the BJP frontman himself leading the charge, clearly showing that the party is ready to go all out as it inches closer to the decisive May 16th. Bureau Report Times Now.